Hi, Crystal. Hello. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to have a role play for the real estate appointment setting called calling. Um, so at least you would know how the flow is going to be if ever you are calling um, a client or, or a lead. Diba? So at least you would be aware of the call flow and the rebuttals and stuff like that. So ask any questions that comes to mind na, na about na paano pa ganito yung sinabi ni client or ganito yung objection ni client, let us know. So at least we can share with you what kind of rebuttals we have for that. Um, Marcus will be joining us in a minute so that he can help us. He's going to be the cold caller and I'm going to be the client. So we will just wait for him. Do you have, while waiting for him, do you have any questions um, that you want to ask me? Like anything na paano pag sinabi ni client to or pag sinabi ni client ganito? Hi, kasi wala eh. Siguro later. Mm, sige. Hintayin lang natin siya. Pero ako kasi... Um, ang parang typical na baka hindi mo pa na nakuha dun sa ano natin kanina. Um, parang pag nakikinig ka dun sa mga previous vlog, vlogs ko, what I can say is sometimes the objection that you will be getting is like sa umpisa pa lang na um, yun nga, yung parang like siguro 50% of the time client will tell you na Uh, the lead will tell you na, why, how much are you gonna uh, pay for my property? Do you have an offer? What, how, how much are you gonna offer me? Kasi ba yung tanong mo, are you, um, are you looking to get a cash offer for your property? Tapos sasabihin nila sa'yo, uh, yeah, how much? Or parang sabihin nila, oh, but why, how much are you gonna give me? So, iisa lang yung sasagot mo doon. Iisa at isa lang. You can tell them that, Well, we don't run some numbers unless we get, uh, we see the property in person or my partner. You tinuro ko kanina, my partner runs the numbers after we oh, yeah, I'm back. look at the property. Hi! So he's back. Hi! So again, uh, Marcus is going to pretend as a cold caller. He does um, cold calling, real estate cold calling, and also real estate acquisition. So he's been helping us on that. Pero today, just so you would have, kasi wala kaming makitang recording, Marcos, just so you know, kung saan kami nanggagaling. We've been training kanina for like maybe an hour. Hmm. Pero, well, I sent you, I know, uh, well, that was, those were like acquisition calls. Yeah, so, so that's, really calls. that's, that was an acquisition <clears throat> call. So we really couldn't, um, like, I can have her study it. Kasi nga, yeah, uh, I mean, it's, parang, it's basically a little bit similar, but yeah, it's, you know, it's, a, it's in a totally different question. spectrum. A majority yeah. of the calls that I have to are for like realtors, so it's on a different training. So I was different thinking, set of questions. To, yeah, I was thinking of doing the role play with her, but I don't hmm. think she is gonna be like that ready. I want her to be confident when she does it. Kasi hindi pa nga niya yung actual call. Kung paano ba? Kasi wala akong, oh, record, yeah. wala akong recording. You um, don't have a lot of recordings. Well, I, I, I can. You know what? I think I can pull out some cold calls from my VAs on my end. So, yeah. Okay. That's um, going to be helpful. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll pull up a difficult call and I'll pull up a, an easy call as well. That's good. And uh, this mm -hmm. role play is also going to be helpful with kasi nga. Parang we can give her yeah. realistic realistic scenarios. I've been telling her na parang sa umpisa pa lang, diba? Like, I'm calling to to know if ever you would consider a cash offer for your property there. Tama ba ako? Mm. The clients would normally say, how much is the offer? Diba? Kadalasan, parang, yeah, how much are you gonna give me? Yeah, diba? usually. Kadalasan, mm. they, would, they would have that. What's your response to it, if ever? What's your, like, what's your ballpark offer? Uh -oh. Pag, pag ganun yung client, what well, <clears throat> usually is your, ano? Uh, well, you, usually, I just, you know, squeeze it out of them. Um, I'm a bit nasty when it comes to my calls because, you know, if, if, we, if they get the impression that if they're talking to an acquisition manager, a purchase manager, they're talking to the person who calls the shots. 
No, for like example, it's just it's just cold calling. Oh, tanggalin natin ah, cold yung calling? Oh, bawa. um, di ba bawal mo pang di mo pa alam kung magkano talaga. So for example, hmm. how, how much are you gonna give me? Parang I'm calling to see if you would consider a cash offer for the property. So how much? Well, for for a cold caller, uh, cold callers don't usually push. Um, uh -oh, move on can just uh -oh. simply tell the seller that. Uh, okay, since you don't have any ballpark amount or asking price yet, uh, I'll have my purchase manager call you up so that you guys can talk the numbers. But in that case, if you're really confident that you can pull it off, you can just simply tell them, we don't usually give out blind offers to properties we haven't seen yet. Hmm. So, ayaw mo namang so mag-invento, di ba? Parang ganun. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we need to see the property first. Our offer will be dependent on the condition of the property in general. Mm -hmm. So, physically, how it mm -hmm. is. Okay, so yun, yung mga, yun yung mga ano, sinasabi namin tell, uh, if ever a client, kasi may mga ganun, like normally, umpisa pa lang, oh sige, magkano offer mo? Parang ganun. Eh, uh, yun na lang sasabihin mo, we need to run some numbers to make sure that we're giving you the right offer. So, when my, my, my acquisition mm -hmm. manager, which is yun ang trabaho ni Marcos, acquisition manager will call you to discuss it. Uh, so, what's, time, what's the best time tomorrow for in the morning or afternoon. So, si Segwe mo na. Mm -hmm. After that, tsaka mo itatanong yung mga qualifying questions. So, yung Marcus is gonna give you a sample. I'm not gonna be a difficult customer. <laughs> I'm gonna be a very mm -hmm. easy one. Um, just want her to parang uh, have an idea of how to get an overview, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, how calls are being done, okay? Are you, are you ready? Well, I, I think I think uh, Christelle will do good. I mean, most of the women who do cold calls, they're like, really good in penetration uh, yeah. you know and, and getting through with the customer uh, if you know Kang uh, the the Asian guy with 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 the uh, with a YouTube channel let's yeah, say yeah. hey let's get the yeah. money yes, I mean yes. all her all his VAs are from the Philippines and all are women uh -oh. so, yeah uh, I, I also watched him and I think Crystal is also watching him right so we just she just mm, uh, she just yeah. finished a, a, a tutorial with uh, with uh, ang pangalan nun? with uh, Kang Ang, and uh, uh, she finished uh, the 53 seconds and earlier we listened to recordings of his VA na magcall uh, however one of the VA isn't really like we didn't really find it effective because it sounded like parang customer service so i want her to oh, like, yeah. want her to like have a feel of Parang, ano ba talagang mangyayari sa'yo pag nagtawag well, ka na? Uh, the, best, the best videos to listen or to, to watch at are the Friday night cold calls that he does with, with the people everywhere. So he pretends that he, he's like the seller mm -hmm. and then these people call him up live and then they do the cold calling part. Uh -oh. Pero yun, yun ba yung napakinggan mo, Tel? 53 ano, minutes? Ay, yung 53. Nagko-cold call siya. Uh, oh, yun yeah. yata yun. yun uh, that was yun. live, yeah. Uh, 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 so, so dun, you, you will hear a lot of terms, words that he uses on how he speaks to the to the sellers. Uh, marami, mabilis kasi, ano eh, maganda yung, maganda yung mga ginagamit niyang words. Um, mm. It's easy to mimic and it's it's reasonable. Uh, it's straightforward. So, yun na nga, mabilis lang. Mm -mm. Okay, you can so, talk like him if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Ante, Mr. Really? Moses. So, yun, oh, uh, yeah. so Marcus is going to be the co caller and I'm going to be the lead. Uh, pag may questions ka, let mm. us know. Okay? Ready na tayo, Marcus? Yeah. Game. Sino Always ready. Ako na naka record kanina pa. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> ring, well, I also ring. have an option to record. Um, hello? Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Jazzy, uh, Jazlyn Lozada. Yeah, who's this? Hi, this is Marcus. I'm calling you from one of the local investors here in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, we buy properties as it is, actually, and we're working on some properties in the neighborhood. I just want to know if you are looking to sell your property at 123 Banana Street. Um, how much are you going to offer me? Well, our offer will be depending on the condition of the property itself. So how about this? Let me ask you a couple of questions in general about the property that you have. So is it currently vacant or do you live in it? Uh, it's vacant. Okay, um, vacant, all right, perfect. And how long has it been vacant? Like for six months, I had it rented before. Oh, you did, okay, mm -hmm. cool. 
Uh, what happened to the to the tenant? Did they choose to leave the property and not just extend the contract whatsoever? No, they they left. You know, wasn't really happy with how they were. I mean, really bad tenants, mm -hmm. not paying on time. Oh, so oh. I thought of like, I'm actually tired of being a landlord, and I don't want to like do it. I got so you. I, I was before you even called. I was kind of contemplating if I'm going to sell the property. So yeah, mm -hmm. I was actually oh, thinking well, no of putting worries. it on the market. So oh, you are. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, if you're looking to put it up on the market, what would be your asking price for that? I'm not really sure. I mean, Ever you, you, you post it on the market, you list it out? I'm not sure actually, because I um, haven't checked the market. I bought it mm -hmm. like five years ago for I think $80,000, but I'm not sure. Oh, I, see. I, I did some remodeling way back, but of course the mm -hmm. tenants were like, uh, there are there are holes in the walls. I mean, oh. we have a lot of people coming over, doing parties. So the house isn't really in a good condition. So I'm I not understand. sure. So the basically lack TLC on the property itself. Yeah. Well, I'm so sorry to hear about that, but don't worry. Uh, like I said, you know, we buy properties in as is condition. So whatever repairs needed on the property itself, we take over that. We handle that for you. So mm -hmm. uh, I just want to know. Recent, I mean, uh, before before the the property was or after the tenants left, what are the recent updates that you did on the property, like the the room, or the bedrooms, the bathroom, the kitchen, floorings, uh, paint jobs, or whatsoever? Did you do some updates on it? I was actually try thinking of doing that, but then COVID hit, mm -hmm. so I didn't oh, really okay. have the time to do it. I didn't really have the money to spend for it, so I. I see. You know, I was kind of waiting to get like the funds that I am looking for to get. But even if I have it, I don't think I could would be able to get some contractors around here. I mean, it's re they're I really understand. hard to to assign projects to nowadays. So exactly. yeah, I haven't well, done anything. I mean, yeah, no updates. So the, this 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 COVID stuff really did you know put some delays on people's uh, yeah. activities, normal normal stuff. So yeah, uh, that's fine. Um, we, we can handle that one for you once we take over the property, if we get a good deal that we will be, will be selling the property to us. So, so far, no updates of the properties. Um, is there any mortgage that we need to pay off if we take over the property or um, is it free and clear? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's free and free and clear. I have some liens on it. I don't have the numbers right okay. now, but, 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 you know, I, not much. All right, no worries. So uh, what I'm going to be doing here right now is I'm going to be setting up a an appointment for my acquisition, our purchase manager, basically, to uh, to talk with you, to speak with you, so that you guys can talk about the numbers and hopefully, you know, we could lead to offering you a quick cash offer for your property. So, uh, like I said, we buy a property in assets conditions, we pay in cash, and we can offer you a quick hassle-free. Um, sale cash sale for your property okay so uh would 2 p.m tomorrow work for you or is that the best time for for our managers to give you a call back tomorrow um yeah i mean anytime tomorrow would be good okay perfect so uh is it okay if i set it up like 2 to 3 p.m would you be fine with that yeah is someone gonna come over uh not really they will be talking to you first um but if you would love them to drop by and just, you know, talk to you in person and have coffee and sit down, and, you know, just do some chit chat about the properties, that would be possible too. But I mean, how would you prefer? Would you prefer it over the phone or would you just like to meet them personally? Let's just talk on the phone first and let me know okay. how much you can offer. And after that, maybe we could, you know, meet in person. All right, definitely. I'll check. Uh, I'll got to set this up for you. So you'll be speaking with uh, Christelle, one of our acquisition managers, uh, tomorrow, 2 to 3 p.m. I'll set it up for you, okay? Okay, that's great. I, I look forward right, to it. Perfect. Awesome. And Thank uh, you. this is the best number for, uh, for, huh? for them to call you up, right? Yeah, yeah. It's the best number. Okay. Awesome. Well, Jazzy, uh, Jazlyn, thank you so much for taking the time to, uh, or for taking the call. I appreciate your time. We'll talk to you tomorrow then. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye. See ya. Oh. So, ano na, Christelle? <laughs> what, what can you say about it? That's how it goes. 
you know, typically I said on my uh, other tutorials that you have to know the motivation to uh, the client in the timeline. Oh but yeah, as, I missed that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he missed it. Uh, he could have asked. I mean, what what their plans are after selling the property, and yeah. would it would they would it be okay with them if it, the property sells in fourteen or thirty days? Because it's True. quick, right? Like how many mm -hmm. how many weeks? Five to six weeks. Well, usually um, there are some buyers who can close like within seven days because uh, pay paperwork and escrow normally checks out two to three days only. So, mm. you know, some of the buyers are just, you know, pulling up some funds, maybe some, some, some lending stuff or whatsoever, just for them to, to purchase a property in, in, in cash in full because they need to deposit the, the money uh, to escrow once, you know, the payment is needed. Mm -mm. So, Yon, mm. uh, you have to know the timeline and you have to know the motivation. Pero as I mentioned also, yeah. uh, with the four pillars, motivation, timeline, asking price condition of the property, not all the time you can ask all of it. And not all the time the clients will answer all of it. Depends but, on yeah, the mood. <laughs> yes. But it's okay. Depends <laughs> on the tempo. Yes. If it's okay, it's okay if you have at least two out of the four, which he got it. He got the, the price. Hindi naman niya mapiga si client sa price. Um, mm. Kasi hindi nga daw, wala nga daw idea. So, hindi mo siya pa pwedeng pilitin mo. Ano talagang price na gusto? Ano <laughs> pwede? Kasi kung wala si yeah, Lupa. Yeah, they, they, would, they would really hang uh, up on you. Kasi wala silang maibigay, wala silang idea. Mas maganda yon kasi wala silang... Di ba Marcos, mas okay yon kasi parang bulag sila sa comps. Uh, kasi okay. may mga ibang uh, mm. uh, leads na they feel that the house is worth this much pero hindi naman talaga sila mm. expert to run the numbers <laughs> feeling lang nila ganon so it's a lot better if they don't have an idea like some people would tell you that okay just you know call me back if we feel already have the offer ibig sabihin wala silang dinidemand na ano may mga yeah, iba naman usually na, there, there's uh, no, there's there's a question for that um it's also a question for cold callers to ask. They would usually ask the, the seller if, do you have any idea of what the properties in the na neighborhood are worth? Or did you receive any offers? Or did you get any word from other people that you know about the properties that are selling in the neighborhood? Meron at meron silang, meron at meron silang idea. Pero talagang walang wala, uh, tanga tanga lang siya. So, pwede ko sabihin. Okay, that's not a problem. Yun, bulls, bulls ayan. Uh, Pag wala na talaga siyang idea talaga, ibig sabihin nun, kapag gaganon, kasi most likely, no, Marcos, yung bahay, hindi talaga siya in good shape. Kaya medyo nahihiya siyang uh, magbigay distressed. ng, oo, uh, parang, parang distressed property talaga, wala talaga. siya. Speak wala na talaga. Speak na lang yun, Oo. Oh, walang bubo. <laughs> Pag wala, ano, speak <laughs> uh, Kung baga parang nag antay na lang sila ng good deal, ano mang pinakamaganda. Tsaka most likely, sinabi ko nga sa yeah. kanya before, yung mga leads na to, most likely, other people have already, like, called them and tried to offer. Kasi, Call them. Diba? May mga iba na rin silang, kadalasan kasi yung isang lead na yan, parang natatawagan din na ibang ano, kasi nga, mm, parang... Mga 20 siguro, 20 or more calls. Eh, tsaka diba may mga nakukuha silang letters na parang... Uh, uh, flyers. Oo, uh, uh, flyers. Bago pa tumawag. Kung baga yung mga Big clients minsan, ng ibang, ibang uh, ano. yung mga clients minsan, bago nila patawagan, pag email. Uh, ini-email nila, sinesenda nila ng letters para hindi ma-surprise. So may mga ganong strategies. So so uh, far naman sa ano mo sa uh, sa call nat namin nakuha naman ni Marcos yung yung parang medyo ballpark nung may mga nakuha pa nga siyang mortgage. Uh, sinasabi ko nga sa kanya yung mga ganong details later on malalaman mo siya. Later on magagamay mo. Pero kung nasisimula ka, you can get stick to the script na na binigay sa iyo kasi pinaano ko sa kanya yung talk to people script Marcos so mm -hmm. you can stick to that and sa kanya naman natanong niya yung condition napaka ano ng condition na maganda yung idea kasi nga sabi ko hindi mo pwedeng ipasa yung lead kay client ng ano walang, lang wala ano, ano. walang <laughs> pag umuwi yung pasmo yeah i'm selling oh, okay pasa tapos na <laughs> so, diba kailangan mapiga mo siya eventually at first medyo mangangapa ka kaya nga you have the script to stick to kasi pag nawawala kang sasabihin doon ka lang pupunta sa script na yon. Um, so on this specific call si Marcos na tanong niya yung yung asking price niya masyado ano pero nakuha niya yung condition tapos na parang nakuha niya rin yung medyo parang medyo desperate na yung client kasi parang ayaw na mag landlord. Ayaw niya mag landlord. Yun yung ay hindi yun pala yung motivation well, kaya hindi niya muna natanong. Yun yung motivation Oo. pero there is there is ano uh, at the bottom end of that but you can you can also ask the the, the seller 
uh, aside from not you know, not wanting to be a landlord. Is there any any goals that you have if you get cast out of this property? Mm-hmm. Um, di ko alam ko anong typical reason why we need to ask that. Uh, but on my end, as an acquisition manager, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Hindi, actually, ang back ano ang reason yan kung bakit nila tinatanong kasi alam gusto nilang malaman kung gaano ka desperado yung nagbebenta. Uh, kung bakit the kailangan mo. Of, Oo. Kasi para at least alam mo yung negotiating power mo. Kasi pag bumalik yung acquisition uh, manager to offer an actual yung cash offer, alam niya kung paano laruin. Alam niya kung hanggang saan. Ano, di ba? So, for example... Nasanay kasi ako na ano. Nasanay hmm. ako na uh, I persuade people who are not really interested in selling and then mm-hmm. I let them sell. I create mm-hmm. the need for these people. So, parang uh-huh. ako nag-i-invent and, oh, gawin uh-huh. mo to. I mean, these are really uh-huh. good investments mm-hmm. for you if you get cashed out. So, uh-huh. gano'n. Kasi min- minsan, meron oh, akong ganyan na... Akin lang yun, invent. Uh-huh. <laughs> may, may, ako, meron naman ako minsan na client na they wanna sell a specific property. Kumbaga, parang... Um, sabi nila, kasi ayaw niya na maging landlord. Marcus is right. Yung ayaw niya na maging landlord, first layer lang yan ng uh, motivation niya. Pag kinalkal mo pa, minsan the way I ask it, okay, yeah, I understand. So, you don't want to be a landlord anymore. So, can I ask you, why is that important for you? I mean, why is not being a landlord is, is important for you? So, root causing. So, magsasabi yan. Kasi nga, I, I don't have a really good medical, ano, condition. condition Kanyari, uh, diba? So, I really have to let go of these properties. Stress, uh, Oo, nasa stress ako. Stress. <laughs> Ganun. Or pwedeng malayo, malayo, nasa ibang stage Uh-oh. na nakatira. Maraming, sila, maraming property reasons. Manager. So, eventually, you will learn how to do it. So, we just wanted to give you an idea of, ano, so may mga questions ka ba sa call flow, ano bang medyo hindi clear? May isa pa pala. Ano? May isa pa. Uh, the reason why I ask for the mortgage, I always ask that because gusto ko lang marinig sa kanila. I mean, I want them to realize that we know that they wanted to pay off their mortgage. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's why they're selling. Gusto, Saka para gusto, malaman mo uh, mila- kung ano oh. kung under the water ba yung property na to kaya mo binibenta baka mamaya mm. kaya parang kasi pag mataas yung pag-aari ng bank oh, <laughs> diba? so you have to know these questions although not a lot of people are gonna be comfortable to answer it but the way you're gonna sabi mm. ko nga sa kanya if you are going to ask it as if you're not comfortable to then hindi sila Yun, sasagot the, the way I ask it oh. was like if parang wala lang. Oh. Uh, do you have a mortgage on this one? They would just tell you, why do you ask? What is it to you? Mm-hmm. That's why I ask it. Like, hey, is there any mortgage that we need to pay off? Like, mm-hmm. not I, not you, but we. Parang gano, mm-hmm. I mean, we need to work together in this one. So, is there any mortgage that we need to pay off if we take over the property? So, parang isipin niya, ikaw or ako? <laughs> so, they would, instead of instead of rebuttling, instead of being being naive or what, they would just simply tell you, no, yeah. I, I have like maybe 45 grand. Mm-hmm. So that's what they would do. It's easier for them to to, to spit it out. Mm-hmm. Basta lang parang... Kasi feeling, feeling nila, you Uh-oh. know, nakikipagtulungan ka sa kanila. <laughs> Basta act as if it's a nonchalant lang. So, I mean, they'd be yeah. able to, to tell you. So, yun. Meron ka bang questions, concerns, or violent reactions? <laughs> Meron! <laughs> so, ano nga? Bakit ang baton to, no? Ibang-iba sa, sa, ibang-iba sa picture. Oo. Ano siya? Bulilit. Sister siya ni Ethan. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. So, you <laughs> sister in the mo? Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Uh, kaya din tulungan ko siya. Kasi transitioning from uh-huh. call center to work from home. So, she's been helping mm, yeah, us yeah. for the past, ano, what? Months? Two months? Two months? For mm. sa, sa, sa agency. So, she's been really, really okay helpful na. Huwag ka na mag-BPO. Na. Pangit doon. <laughs> Having had to just. Oh, I mean, ako matagal ako sa BPO, maybe uh, 16 years. Pero six months lang ako ng agent. Pag <laughs> ano ka parang team uh, leader ka uh, nag OM ako moving forward. So, oh, and, uh, and then I launched projects as well for for different sites. Yung mga ganyan ganyan. Papadala ka sa ibang bansa para mag-training ng mga kano. Well, it sucks kasi ano, makakapagod, nakaka-stress. <laughs> Mas maganda hawak mo 'yung oras mo dito. Oh, 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 and I I love talking. So yeah, I talk for love. That's what I always tell them. <laughs> oh, <nga. laughs> so ano, tell me, ka bang question sa ano na parang naisip mo na parang ay bakit 
Pwede pala yun, mga ganito. Wala, ba, wala bang, ano, wala ka bang reaction? Wala pa naman. Wala. Yun lang yung question ko kanina kung paano ka isipin it. Eh, ano, nasagot naman niya. Mm-hmm. Mm, anong question ba yun? Parang kung paano i-end ng maayos. Ah, yung maayos. Nasagot na lahat. Oh. Basta just act act natural na lang. Yun lang yung pinaka-bottom part doon. Uh, you just Uh-oh. act natural. Huwag ka matakot. Nasa telepono lang yan. Hindi ka kakagatin yan. Oo. And uh, don't like have a uh, so, feel na parang ma- na need mo ma-perfect siya at agad-agad. Parang hindi mo siya ma-perfect sa umpisa. Lahat naman nagsimula na nangangapa. So, sa umpisa, you might have oh. some some mistakes or may mga questions ka na hindi matatanong or what. But eventually, after a week or two of making calls, you will get the hang of it. And you would be able to, you know, have the call flow ng walang, ano, walang kaba. <laughs> so, walang, walang agam-agam. <laughs> Pwede mo na siyang gawing nakapikit. Oo. No. <laughs> Parang ano na siya, tawag na ito. Parang, oo nga. Pwede ka nang pumikit habang nagsasalita. That's, that's, mm-hmm. that's how easy it is when you get used to it. Mga okay. siguro, ano, two weeks. Uh-oh. Araw-araw mong gawin. Yeah. Basta pag na-master mo na to, then we have other tutorials for like, yung ginasabi, pinag-usapan namin ng Marcos, which is for the acquisition manager training. You would probably undergo that too eventually once you have mastered this phase. So, yun lang. And, um... So, yun lang. That's it. Wag na natin i-store ba si Marcos. I know you're a busy guy. He's actually on no, shift right ginagawa. now. No, wala ginagawa. Uh, sabi ko kay Abby, ano, uh, I'll take the the Sunday off. Kasi tanong, tanong niya sa akin, um, do you still have extra hours? Sabi ko sa kanya, no, I, I maximized my 25 hours last Friday. So, mm-hmm. I was like working the whole Saturday. <laughs> kaya, kaya tuwa siya kasi alam niya naman nag extra mile talaga ako. Ang pangit kasi ng leads niya. So, binigyan ko siya ng bagong leads na dalawa ng 2,700. Uh-huh. Isa pa yon, uh-huh. You have to be open sa client mo ng, sa leads nila. Kasi hindi nila alam yan, ikaw yung nagtatawag. So, kung ang pangit ng leads niya, puro ka wrong number, wala ka talaga makausap, as in sa mo. araw. Sabihin mo, para may magawa silang paraan. Kasi, mm. di ba sa call center, magtatsaga ako kung anong leads, pero yun lang eh. Di ba? Pero dito, oh. since directly nakikipagtrabaho ka sa may-ari or sa parang nagbabayad talaga sa sa'yo directly, nakip- they can actually do something about it. So, bakit hindi ka nakakaset ng appointment? Tell them right away. Huwag mong sabihin after a month mo pa sasabihin na pangit pala yung leads. Di ba? Sabihin mo na after two, two days, three days, as in sa buong oh. eight hours ko, isa lang po nakausap ko. I think there's something wrong Tapos, with this. Ano, 150 yung ano, tawag na to, de- wrong now, uh, wrong, uh, disconnected. Leads, disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> Ang dami mong calls, 400, puro pra disconnected. Oo. <laughs> kasi baka mamaya, they're looking at the total numbers kasi not all clients are parang knowledgeable about that. So, sabihin mo rin sa kanila, bakit di ka nakakaset? Tapos bigla ka nalang chuchugihin kasi hindi ka nakaset. So, I-document mo kung oh. ilang leads yung gano'n. That's the usual part. Mm-mm. So at kasi least masabi sa, mo sa, sa kanila. Ibang, oh, sa dialer kasi na iba, hindi mahi, nahirapan yung mga client mag-check ng ano, yung mag-filter out ng ilan ba ang voicemails, ilan ang contacted, ilan ang disconnected, depende sa disposition kung paano mo itag yung yung call Mm-mm. after. So oh. ayaw na lang mabusisi sa ganun kasi gusto nila nakatihaya lang sila, taghihintay lang ng benta. <laughs> So yon. Basta next time naman turuan naman kita nung sa mga yun nasa nabanggit mga dialer. May mga iba tayong dialer na pwede natin gamitin to oh. teach you para at least pag nag-apply ka, sabihin ni client, ay may alam siya sa ganito. So they they typically don't want to oh, train anymore, right? Um so it would be helpful if you've already been trained or you already have an experience in it. So yun lang. So true. that concludes our meeting for it today. Marcus, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for again um, spending time with us. Uh, and Crystal, yeah. I'll see you around again. And thank you guys. Maraming maraming salamat. <laughs> Bye! See ya! <laughs> thank you!